Well, as we continue to follow the first energy bribery scandal case, our legal analyst Stephanie Haney talked with former U.S. Attorney David DeVillers earlier today. He's a prosecutor who charged former Ohio House Speaker Larry Householder and former Ohio Republican Party Chair Matt Borges, among three others, with federal racketeering tied to receiving more than $60 million in bribery money from First Energy. Here's what he had to say about their sentences. Householder's attorneys called the sense that he received unjust and too harsh. So my first question is for you is what do you think about Householder receiving a 20-year sentence in this case? Well, it's the maximum sentence, statutory sentence. So racketeering only goes zero to 20. But his guideline sentences are, are even above that. So if he was charged with multiple offenses or offenses that had a, a cap higher than 20, he would be looking at, quite frankly, a life sentence. Now, today, we just received the information that Matt Borges, in this case, was sentenced to five years in prison. What do you think about him getting that lesser sentence than Householder? So as you can tell from the indictment, there's three parts of the scheme. There, there, the, and, and really, Mr. Borges was only involved in the third part, and that was to, to, to kill the ballot initiative to overturn the House bill. So in, in, in a lot of ways, you know, he kind of came in at the tail end. So I think that's what Judge Black looked at. I know that's what the, the AUSAs looked at, too, when they made their recommendation. And he's not, he's not a public official. Um, that's another thing that goes in the guideline calculation. So he's a private citizen. Now, others were implicated as well in First Energy's admission, like former chair of the Ohio Public Utilities Commission, Sam Randazzo. Do you think that we're going to see charges coming forward against Randazzo? Yeah, I'll let, I'll let Ken Parker answer that question. But I, I think he's made it clear, as, as I have when I was U.S. attorney, that uh, the investigation is ongoing and, and the, the U, AUSAs and FBI in this case are involved in it. They're going to follow it to wherever it leads. And, and Ken Parker has made it clear that, that um, the investigation is ongoing. Okay. I think that I know the answer to this question based on what you've just said, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Randazzo was appointed by Governor Mike DeWine. That was over the objections of others. So aside from Randazzo, do you see any other potential charges coming, possibly against our governor, possibly against other people? I'll just repeat what I said, that, that uh, you know, I'm confident that Ken Parker and the AUSAs and the FBI will follow this wherever it leads. And, and where it leads to, you know, we'll, we'll know probably here sometime this year. 